Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna start by uh, explaining components best I can, and then from there, we're gonna put our eyeballs in the correct spot on SpongeBob. We're gonna move them around, okay? So the first thing is, what we made in the last video, or ended with, was a component, all right? Which was just the eyeball itself. Um, one thing about a component is, components are a way to make, I guess, sizes and shapes, and then have those forms, as far as the surfaces and stuff, all work together as one. Meaning that <clears throat> if you want them to work separate, in order to get them separated again, you would have to actually explode it, which would break that component up, making it little, I guess, parts of that system. Anyway, so the component right here that we have made now, if I select it, it grabs the whole thing. That's kind of the nice, convenient part about it. Uh, if we ever need to go back and, and edit it later, change its color, um, add more things to it, we want to use a double click to get into the component um, and then you can see that we're actually inside. Uh, you can see the, the axis and the square around it. Now we'd be able to come in here and actually edit it, all right? I don't want to do that right now, though, okay? Now, um, so clicking out to get out of my component, um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get the area set up where we're going to put it, and then we're going to put that in the right spot and duplicate it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the top view, all right? And when we're in the top view, we are going to use a tool to get some guidelines set up so we know where this is going to go. And that tool is going to end up being our tape measure tool. On the left-hand edge over here, the tape measure tool is a third tool up from the bottom. Now, as we're selecting that, the thing that's important about the tape measure is we want to make sure we always click with the hook. If we click with the hook, all right, and we slide over, we should see a dotted line happening and that's where that hidden line is going to be that shows us where we want to put our stuff as far as uh, so we can have intersections and those kind of things. Um, I'm going to hit escape right now and just go to my SpongeBob blueprint just to make sure I know where these go. Um, we want to place this uh, eyeball 75 millimeters in from the left and from the right edge. And then also we want to be 100 millimeters down. So that's the two dimensions we would need to know, 75 and 100. And when I go into my SketchUp piece then here again, once again, tape measures down here. I think the letter T might actually take you there also. And you gotta make sure you select with the hook on the left-hand edge, slide to the right, we can click again, or release your click, and type in 75. Enter. Now, you see your line move a lot if you weren't anywhere near that distance when you hit enter. If you were like 74, 76, you might not even notice your line move much, okay? Um, <clears throat> which is fine. Now moving down, we're gonna do the same thing. So top, top of the edge of the piece, we select with the hook of the tape measure, slide down, and we're gonna type in 100. Enter. I was close at 96, so I didn't see much movement there. We have one more line to do, and that is from the right-hand edge selection, slide to the right, and we're gonna hit 75 and enter, all right? And now you can see that I have two intersections, if I slide in or scroll in, where we're gonna end up placing the middle of our eye, all right? Now, if I go into my selection tool, I should be able to select my eye. <clears throat> I should be able to go with my move tool, which is the letter M, or using the move over there, fourth tool up, to hover over top of the eye, and also, then slide in, if I hover over the edge of it, I should be able to find the middle, right? So over the diameter or the outside circumference of that circle on the inside to get the middle piece there. And then I'm gonna to go to move this to the correct location, which is gonna be the center piece there. Now, right now I'm having problems because I'm not on top of my piece, all right? So I'm gonna go and click <clears throat> in my scenes on the ISO view. Right? You notice I haven't released it yet. And my problem right now is the middle that I have selected is on top. And the middle I want is actually on the bottom. All right? So what we're going to have to do is orbit around our piece to find that center underneath. All right? And that should be right here. And then orbit around, which is I'm depressing the scroll wheel sliding, and then I'm going to go find where those two match up. And just kind of scroll in, and there's that intersection point. All right? If we're having trouble doing this, just ask me. 
but that's how we put that where it belongs. Okay? Now, the next thing is, uh, that's all I have for this video. I hope it works for you. Uh, if you have problems moving around at the end, just ask with that orbit. I can help you get there. Thank you all for watching.